Hey, it's another Escape from Tarkov video. Yay. I've had a revelation. I stopped taking Tarkov so seriously, and my new playstyle is not giving a shit. That's my new playstyle. Some people are rats, some people are big daddy chads, some people are yummy mummies. Me? I'm a I don't give a shit player. What what's he look like? This old. I may have just dropped a PMC. Shot. I dropped a PMC. Oh shit. Cal now leads every single raid. Now I just sit somewhere in the middle of the pack and enjoy my time in Tarkov. And she's very, very bossy. Do not stand in front of a window. You're standing in front of a window. I'm not standing up crouch. It doesn't matter. They can see through this window. I told you. Jesus. I, I mean, I told you. I'm still really bad. <laughs> And actually, this not giving a shit playstyle is getting me killed much, much more often. In contrast to what I was doing before, where my head was on a swivel, you know, beads of sweat running down my forehead. And again, in this way, no matter what graphic settings, uh, NVIDIA control panel settings, if I aim down sight using a, an optic, there's a 75% chance that I'll go down to 20 frames per second. Uh, I still can't use a scope. I see him. He's in the first doorway. I'm dead. Head eyes. And I gotta tell you, me not caring about anything right now, it's getting me killed a lot, to say the least. Okay? I'm getting punished like I'm paying a dominatrix to do it to me. I'm dead. But playing second fiddle, not being responsible for anything, like going out for milk and never coming back to your family, is such a good feeling. I can't explain it. Don't mind us, we're just coming through. I highly recommend everybody get a Tarkov mommy that will walk you around the raids, holding your hand, asking you if you're hungry or if you need to go to the bathroom. She literally looks up the task beforehand and then walks me to my objective. She does all the paperwork, I do all the fun stuff. The only annoying thing is she keeps asking me what my tasks are and I have to click on the task thing and read every single one. The last time she asked me what my tasks were, I sent her this. Yeah, every time I go to, to do a task in drums, I die. Every time. It's a high point to do a door task. Like That's customers because you don't wait. Time. You're not Yesterday. patient. Yeah. You decide to push right in with the chads and you don't dress like a chad. Therefore, you're going to die. I'm a fucking... I'm a rattlesnake. <laughs> okay, I'm fucking... <laughs> all right? I'm vicious, but I'm also a little bitch. So I need to find an analogy for it. I don't want to be called Honey Badger 50 if you're in Shax. I know you're going to say that. All right, time to die. We're in deadly... Which storm? Which storm? Three story from 203. We're in the danger zone. I am terrified to go through that door first. I don't know if you want to go through first. Well, you're leading. You go through first. I never go through first ever because I will die. Well, when you're leading, you go through first. Just a sec. I'm scared. I don't see anything. close. Awesome. It looks like 220 is open for a task. Why is there a red dot on that computer? Stop talking for a second. What? What? God damn it. I lost my train of thought. It's a gamer computer. That's fine. All right, shotgun bitch. Get us the fuck out of here. I don't know that, um, I, mean, I don't know if is up. Well, we can go find out. If not, we run into... You just double tap bow and you see if drums is up. It's right there. The car's up. Alright guys, you ready? You have money? You have yeah, money? yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. You hit it! Yay! This guy's got two tasks. I didn't dehydrate myself. Oh Aww. shit, we forgot to do that. We could have sat up in dorms and done it. You see what I'm saying? She's taking charge. She's also providing the keys to the objective because she plays more than both of us. And she's a bit timid, you know? She didn't want to breach the door herself, but I mean, that's just because she's not used to uh, being the front man. She'll get over that fairly soon. And then on the way out, she goes, do you guys have money? She's the mommy of Tarkov. It's fantastic. 
Now, I don't take lead on raids very often anymore, but when I do, on the odd occasion, I run around like a madman, like I don't care. And it's freeing. If you guys are stressed out by this game, if you guys are finding yourselves yelling at your monitor after you get head eyes from across the map, get yourself a Tarkov mommy. Have her do all the paperwork and research on the tasks. Have her guide you. And when you decide to take lead, don't give a fuck about anything. Pretend you're playing Call of Duty. Enjoy yourself. At the end of the day, that's what we're here for. We're here to have fun, okay? Let's try to have a little bit of it. In front. My gun, my gun malfunction. That you. Coming back out of the secret. This guy running up to you. Where are you guys? I'm in the I'm... pit in front. Paladin, I killed you? Scab. Killing a scab by the pit. My gun malfunction. I'm sorry. I'm running towards you. Careful, there's a guy right in front of me. I lit him up. He's doing a task, I think. I'm with you. They're shooting behind us at the tower. Wow, that guy peaced out. Or he's hiding. I hear movement over to the right by the train. There's movement on the second floor of this construct. Yeah, he's up there. He's naked. I'm gonna go kill him. Bro, are you naked up there? Maybe we can work something out. It's a fight going on. We might be able to see it if we look over here. The three men down there. Down where? Down where? Outhouse. Out of their hiding now. They're in the connector room. Oh shit, I killed two bears? <laughs> when I exchanged with them over that wall, I killed two of them. What the fuck? Which wall was that? Oh, oh the no. Chases. I killed the naked guy. That's why I have his tag. They, I guess I killed a bear on the other side of the wall, though. Damn. TPS age go burr.